Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. So today is my last video for this series and here you can see all the dried pieces that I have done. All of them are dried and resined well except for this one this one still needs to be resined other than that rest of them are all resined so you can see all of them together and then and i'm so happy with the results So as I am working on my Navratan series, some of the things that I have noticed, I feel like it's worth sharing with you guys. Um, let me bring some examples. So these are the dry products. As you can see that these two, um, these two dried really well because uh, let me bring another one. So let me show you this. This one and this one dried really well. And however, on this one, and this is another example, you can see on the green, green side, uh, my colors has kind of like um, uh, spread everywhere. The reason is, um, this orange color that I have, I made this orange color by mixing the red and the yellow and the yellow was a very thick paint. My yellow was Kark and Kensington from Ace Hardwire and it's a very thick paint. So the, when I mix my red, uh, thin red and thicker yellow, I got this perfect consistency for the orange and therefore I I got a good result. My black was also a thicker paint because this one was uh, Sharon, Sharon Williams and that's why I got a nice result here. However, so as I was doing my uh, Navratan series, I got so excited about different colors. I went to Lowe's, I went to um home depot and every stores i went to if i liked a color i just ordered a sample size and i ended up with bunch of these i bought all these colors the problem was when I used this color just with GAC 800, my color was thinner. Therefore, if you look at this one, the white side dried perfectly. However, here it was a little bit of, uh, it, it submerged to every, everywhere, kind of. It's not bad, it, it's, it gives you the whimsical look, but it's not how it was when it was wet that's the point i'm trying to make if you look at this green this green was so pretty see on the green side it kind of submerged so today i'm going to work on um, a split base which is going to be uh, purple and white and i am thinking that i'm not going to use the purple only i'm going to mix it with a thicker paint so I can uh, get the perfect consistency. So now let's mix the base color. So I have this beautiful purple that I want to use. If I open it, you can see that it's, it's not thick enough. I need thicker consistency. So I'm going to take some, maybe this much, it's good enough. 
then I got this whoops paint which is Sharwin Williams and the color is kind of this bluish grayish something I don't know so what I'm thinking is I'm going to take some of these and let's see I'm getting this beautiful lavender color which I might say it's really pretty I'm gonna add a tiny bit of purple Let me close my Sharvin Williams. Now I'm going to add a tiny bit of GAC 800 to this. That's enough. Actually, it should be a tiny bit thicker, but that's okay. I think I can manage this. So this is my color and I'm going to do another split base with this lavender purplish color with white, sorry. I was showing you yellow and I was seeing white. Okay, so this is my canvas and the colors that I'm using today, first one is Candy Apple from Art Mind, second color that I have is Uh, four card color shift and this is called aqua flush the third color that you are looking at this is vermilion hue mixed with sockeye from TLP that's a pigment the third color that I have This is a mixture of fluorescent pink from Liquitex Basics and I mix some ginger flower from Color Art. And this is the beautiful, beautiful color. The reason I am mixing this is I love the shimmer and also um, I, when I use too much pigment, I, I feel like my um my design is cracking more so i'm mixing some acrylic some pigment and i see that i am getting better results with that next color that you see it's the mysterious from arts mind Then of course I have my gold and copper. These are the only colors that I'm going to use today. So let's start.
Now let's do white. So I think we have the right amount of paint on the surface. See, how do I know that? I'm tilting my canvas that direction and I don't see much that any paint is running towards that direction. Now I'm going to do this same thing. Well, it did a little bit. And it's still you can see that there's nothing much draining on this side. So I want to do a little bit more on that side. So now we are ready. So let's start with Hard white. That's beautiful fluorescent pink slash ginger flower. I'm going to put the orange right next to it. And the reason I'm putting these two similar color together because when I blow, um, they will blend with each other and that should give me a beautiful uh, shading. Hopefully. With fluid, fluid art, you only can imagine and hope. Not always it works, but sometimes it does. And that's when the magic happens, right? And I think that's it. I want my copper border. Lately I'm loving the copper border.
when you mix pigment and acrylic you get best of the both world you get the shimmer of the pigment because they they are like the best and also you want the flexibility of the acrylic paint so i'm done with layering my paint all i'm gonna do is put some gold And now, let's do the cell activator. Time to blow. Okay. So let's see if we can break up the black. So if I look at this, I love this area. These are beautiful lacing. Oh, this is so pretty here. It's also pretty. So this is what we have to work with. And let's grab our skewer. I have my pointy skewer and I have my thicker side. You can use, use the same skewer basically. So first thing what we do I had some bubble what the all oh, not purple because I just mixed the two colors together so I just needed to blow. Okay, let's see. I'm definitely going to make it outside.
Okay. So these are my small uh, nudges, should I say, or breaks to start my work. So I'm gonna spin first. So if something would have spread, now it has spread. Um, I'm getting a lot of bubbles because of the purple I just mixed. I should have waited a little. Okay, let's see what we can do. So what I like to do with this one, let's make it a kind of leafy situation maybe. With the stick, I'm kind of separating the blue and the red. Because the way they are sitting, it was easy for me to do. Not always it will work, but this time it did. Okay, so sometimes when I do with, work with my right hand, I put my left hand like this and I put my right hand on top of my left hand, then I draw because otherwise, how would you balance your hand? At least that's what I do. Is that an ideal situation? Probably not. Probably someone else has better idea. I hope it dries properly because so far it looks so amazing. Usually I draw these lines all the way, but here the lacing is so pretty. I'm not going to go there all the way today. Oops. 
see I should have been more careful over this white line so now I have to fix it there we go now since I did that I have to fix this which was not my intention and I will leave that the other one alone okay that side looks amazing big especially here oh, i just hope it dries perfectly now we need to think of something here this side so i'm giving you a moment to think if you were there what would you have done and let me that will also give me some time to think about it and we will see that if we are doing the same thing or completely different things and either way we are right because it's a design I'm not happy about this area. Kind of messed up.
I'm not liking this part. So I just removed it. So this is my finished product. I'm just fixing the sides. So this is what I have. Let me pull you down. And you have to tell me what you think. So this is how it looks like. Look at the lacing in the middle and the sides look really pretty. I'm especially loving this magenta part very much. And I hope it dries really well without any crack. At the end of this video, I will show you the dried result. And I want to take this moment to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart to say that um, I really appreciate you and I really have uh, learned a lot as I was doing this and I have seen so many of you are also doing the same thing and experimenting uh, with the different patterns and things like that i also learned from you guys so don't stop keep going and uh, as i experimented with this one i think that now i am ready to move on to bigger pieces don't you think so so until next time uh, thank you so much and now you can see the dried result see how pretty it is and there is not a single crack on this one so i think that i have grown a lot as uh, when i started for the first time and between then and now i'm so happy with the results thank you so much guys